The movie begins with day 89 of an apocalypse that has taken over the planet Earth. Some blind aliens with a sharp sense of hearing have taken over Earth. They have killed almost the entire human population. A woman named Evelyn is seen carefully examining a collection of essential items in an abandoned store. She was hoping to find medicine for her eldest son, Marcus. His son is currently ill and needs the medicines urgently. She finds some and gives it to Marcus. She was there with her family, her deaf daughter Reagan, her younger son Bo, and her husband Lee. They were cautiously moving through a deserted area. The family is extremely cautious to minimize noise and communicates exclusively using sign language. While they were scavenging the essentials, Bo finds a toy space shuttle on the shelf and tries to grab it by climbing onto a stool. But the toy slips from the shelf, but Reagan swiftly catches the toy before before it makes any noise by hitting the floor. Meanwhile, the father, Lee Abbott, is in a nearby electronic store, collecting items that might extend the range of a radio receiver he has acquired. However, he makes Bo put the toy space shuttle back because of the noise it would make if turned on. Soon after, Evelyn signals to the family that they need to move as it's getting dark. As they prepare to leave, Reagan secretly gives the toy back to Bo but without the batteries. Nonetheless, Bo quietly takes the batteries without anyone noticing. The family then silently makes their way home. They carefully step on a path of sand they have laid out to avoid making noise. Bo puts the batteries into the toy, unintentionally activating it and causing loud noises. The family is horrified by this. Lee desperately rushes to his son, but it's already too late as the alien appears in an instant and snatches the little boy. Bo is killed right before his family's eyes. The scene then shifts to day 472. They are living in a farmhouse. Evelyn is now several months pregnant. In the basement, Lee has set up a surveillance system consisting of cameras, monitors, radios, and various electronic equipment. He had the hope of establishing contact with any other survivors. He has also mapped down some methods to survive and confirmed three aliens in their locality. Evelyn prepares a room for her baby. She has built a soundproof crib to avoid any problems when the baby arrives. Meanwhile, Lee was sitting on a tower missing his son, Bo. After some time, they gathered together for dinner. They even prepare their food in a chamber below the floor to avoid any flame noise. They all quietly ate their dinner. After dinner, they all set up a game of Monopoly. Marcus accidentally knocks over a lantern, causing it to break and start a small fire. Lee acts quickly to extinguish the flames, and the family anxiously waits for any approaching danger. A few moments later, they hear a loud noise coming from the roof. Lee looks out the window and is startled, but then relieved to find that it was just a raccoon falling from above. As the raccoon runs away, the monster squashes it. After this, Lee goes down to the basement to continue working on a processor for an implant meant to improve his daughter Reagan's hearing. Later, Evelyn joins him in the basement and they share a romantic moment. They put on headphones and dance a slow dance, momentarily forgetting the chaos that has turned their world upside down. The next morning, Lee is seen spreading sand on the marked paths around their home to keep their steps silent. Meanwhile, Evelyn takes care of her health in the basement. She checks her blood pressure as her due date is only a couple of weeks away. Using a stethoscope, she listens to the strong, healthy heartbeat of her unborn child. Regan enters the house, carefully stepping only on designated spots on the floor to avoid making noise. She then tries to go down to the basement, but her father intervenes, preventing her from doing so. He then gives her a new processor for her implant, equipped with additional amplifiers. Regan believes they are ineffective, so she refuses to wear them. However, Lee persists to try them. Regan puts it in her pocket and leaves. Later that day, Lee goes fishing and invites Marcus to join him. The little boy is scared and hesitant, but Evelyn convinces him, explaining that it's important for him to learn essential skills for the future. Reagan also wants to join them, but Lee instructs her to stay and help her mother, which upsets her. Lee explains that she needs to stay inside until her hearing IS fixed. She goes to her room to try the new implants, but they didn't work. She then packs her bag with pliers and something from her drawer. With her bag on her shoulder, she leaves the farmhouse. Meanwhile, Lee and Marcus arrive at a river where Lee explains something important. He tells Marcus that making soft sounds is acceptable as long as there are louder noises around. They reach a waterfall where they can speak freely without fear of being overheard. Marcus even shouts at the top of his lungs, something he hasn't done in his entire life. Whereas Reagan heads to the same bridge where her brother was killed a year ago, she takes out the thing she took from the drawer and unwraps it. It turns out to be the toy space shuttle that Bo took from the store. She carefully cuts the wire, allowing it to light up without making any noise. She leaves it there, 
As Lee and Marcus head home, they are startled by the appearance of an old man who suddenly emerges from the woods. As Lee approaches, he notices the body of an elderly woman, possibly the man's wife. Lee signals the man to be quiet, but the man panics and screams out loud. Terrified, Lee grabs his son and hides behind a tree and grabs Marcus's mouth. In the next second, a deadly alien attacks and kills the old man instantly. Back at the farmhouse, Evelyn is dragging a laundry bag on the stairs. Suddenly, the bag gets stuck on something. Evelyn pulls it, and it turns out to be a nail sticking out on the staircase. The day passes and the sun sets down. The lights at the house were turned off. But just then, Evelyn's water breaks. She tries to stay calm and heads to the basement. While doing so, she accidentally steps on an exposed nail on the stairs. She somehow managed to hold her pain, but a picture frame drops, shattering loudly. She pulled out her food and dragged herself to the switch. She turns on the red lights, signaling the emergency. The noise alerts the aliens to her presence. Evelyn attempts to climb back up the stairs, only to realize that one of the alien has already entered the house. The alien soon enters the basement where she is hiding. As time runs out, Evelyn sets a timer on an egg timer as a distraction. The plan works, and as the alien's attention is diverted, she escapes. She successfully reaches the bathroom and sits in the tub. She tries to hold in the baby because the newborn's cries would attract the aliens. Shortly after, Lee and Marcus return home and see the glowing red lights, realizing his wife is in danger. Lee hands Marcus a firecracker and instructs him to light it, hoping to scare off the aliens despite the risk involved. Unable to suppress the pain of labor any longer, Evelyn is forced to scream, but just then, Marcus lights the fuse and sets off a series of fireworks as a distraction. Soon after, Lee grabs his shotgun and enters the house. He goes into the bathroom only to find the tub empty and smeared with his wife's blood. He feels devastated but soon discovers Evelyn in the shower with their baby. Meanwhile, Marcus, on his way back to the house, spots an alien and, in a desperate attempt to escape, runs into a cornfield but accidentally collides with a tractor wheel, causing him to lose consciousness. Reagan, who was resting by the memorial, is alerted by the fireworks and rushes back to the house. Along the way, she notices Marcus's flashlight beam. As the alien approaches her from behind, Reagan's implant processor emits a high-pitched feedback sound. This causes the alien immense pain and forces it to run away. Reagan also felt sudden pain but wasn't able to figure out what caused it. At this moment, Reagan finds her frightened brother and hugs him tightly. Together, they climb to the roof of the grain silo and light a signal fire, hoping to alert their parents of their presence. Whereas Lee carries his wife and their newborn baby to a hidden place under the barn floor in the basement. There, he carefully places an oxygen mask on the baby and lays him in a soundproof crib that they have built. Lee then sets out to find his missing children while water steadily floods the basement. Later, Evelyn wakes up to find the basement flooded and to make matters worse, the alien has entered the room. The baby was still in the crib but the lid was open. Acting cautiously, she takes her baby and quietly moves to the far end of the basement, hiding behind the cascading water. Marcus and Reagan are still on the roof of the bunker, anxiously waiting for their father to arrive. Marcus assures Reagan that their father will come for them, but Reagan believes that he will come for Marcus, but not her. Suddenly, the hatch in the bunker breaks, causing Marcus to fall inside. He narrowly avoided being crushed by the metal door. Seeing the danger her brother is in, Reagan bravely jumps in and quickly pushes the door, allowing Marcus to grab onto it. However, in the process, Reagan starts sinking into the grain, just as it seems she is meeting a terrible fate. Marcus manages to climb onto the hatch and pull his sister to safety. The siblings find refuge on top of the bunker door, but then they hear a rumble above them. It turns out to be the same alien from the basement, drawn to the bunker by the noise. The alien stands near the bunker door, but once again, Reagan's implant emits a piercing sound. This causes the alien pain and he slams his sharp nails in the bunker door, but the alien can't take it anymore and runs away, leaving a huge hole in the grain silo. Reagan and Marcus jump out of the bunker and finally reunite with Lee. Their relief is short-lived as they hear the ominous noise of approaching alien. Lee instructs the children to quickly get into his truck and use it to return home. He then hugs them tightly. Unfortunately, the alien attacks him, prompting Marcus to scream in terror. Attracted by the sound, the alien turns its attention to the truck, fiercely tearing into it. Reagan's implant emits its piercing feedback again, but unaware of its significance, she decides to turn it off. This allows the alien to strike the truck with full force 
worse. Meanwhile, wounded Lee gets up and notices his children are in danger. Realizing they will die if he doesn't act soon, Lee makes a decisive choice. He looks at his daughter and for the last time expresses his love using sign language. Then he lets out a loud scream, distracting the alien and giving his children a chance to escape. Regan and Marcus quickly release the truck's brakes and roll back home where they finally reunite with their mother. Tragically, Lee is torn apart. Evelyn and the children still hear the alien's screams nearby, so they retreat to the basement. There, Reagan discovers her late father's research on implants, revealing that he spent considerable time and effort to help her. This realization overwhelms her with emotion, just as the lights start to flicker. Soon after, an alien appears in the basement. Evelyn, armed with a shotgun, stands ready while Reagan examines her father's handwritten notes. It finally dawns on her that her hearing aid can weaken the alien. She takes off her cochlear implant and places it against the microphone, causing the alien to writhe in agony before collapsing. As the wounded alien struggles to get up, the amplified sound exposes its vulnerable inner tissues. Seizing the opportunity, Evelyn shoots the alien, blowing its head off. While Marcus and the baby find refuge in a corner, Reagan and Evelyn monitor the surveillance camera screens, observing more aliens approaching the house. Encouraged by her newfound knowledge on how to fight back, Reagan amplifies the sound and raises the microphone while Evelyn, with a smile on her face, readies the shotgun. The movie ends here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe The Explanation Pro now for more upcoming recap.